Hello, hello, Sarah of SCK Handmade here, and today I'm going to share with you how to work an invisible join when you're working in the round and crochet. Let's go! Let's start off by talking when you should use an invisible join. First of all, it's for when you're working in the round and you're connecting those rounds and when the right side of the fabric is facing you. So sometimes you'll be working around and then turning and the wrong side of the fabric will be facing you for every other round. When the wrong side of the fabric is facing you, you don't need to bother using an invisible join. It's honestly a little more finicky and so you're just wasting your time by using it on the wrong side of your fabric. So we're working on the right side, we're working in the round, and we're going to do our invisible join. When you get to the final stitch of your round, go ahead and pull up a nice long loop for yourself. Then you're going to turn your work to the wrong side and you're going to insert your hook through your first stitch from the wrong side of the fabric to the right side. Then you're going to put that loop back on your hook, tighten it up, and then pull through that stitch at the beginning. And that's simply your invisible join. You can choose to pull that a little tighter. That makes it maybe a little more invisible. And then you can work your chains and depending on if you're going backwards or forwards, you can go ahead and start to work your next round. Now, I do find that A, the invisible join is not a hundred percent invisible but of course the almost invisible join just doesn't quite have the same ring to it <laughs> um but also i find that sometimes especially when you're first starting this the beginning and end of your round don't look exactly the same as they did when you were doing a more traditional join and so you may find it helpful to go ahead and put stitch markers on the first and last stitch so that you aren't adding or losing stitches to your rounds. Always use stitch markers to just help make it easier on yourself. There is absolutely no shame in that. And then you don't have to worry about crazy stitch counts. <laughs> so there you go, the invisible join. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this little tip helps you make your crochet projects look the most polished and professional they can be. I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other tips and tutorials. Thank you again for joining me today and happy crafting!